everybody, I'm Amanda the G. Welcome back to another Word Vomit video, and this time, I have a lot of props. It's a narwhal. These are narwhal slippers that I got for my birthday, and they're USB heated, and these are making me so happy. Look, the little horn, the little, little eyes, the little cheek, it's got little fins and little, oh my goodness, this is adorable. I'm probably going to be working from home until the tenth of never at half past a freckle. I don't know. Um, so probably gonna have a winter at home. So I got these guys for that. Which leads me to my second prop. Temperature check time. If I ever go back to work, which I can't do, we have to check our temperature first and put it into a little app and then you get a little green check mark if you pass that and the screener questions and then you show that information to the actual check-in people who also scan your forehead and then you get a sticker and then you can go to work. It's probably a good thing that I'm not actually in the building all the time because I literally haven't gone since they started this procedure, but if, if I was there, I would be the person who kept every single sticker and made scrapbook pages of just a whole metric fuck ton of stickers and just had stickers everywhere to show what I've done this entire time because I am that much of a weirdo. This is a pickling cucumber. I started these from seed this year. From seed, which makes me so much happier that I'm actually gonna have pickles because I grew them from literally nothing. But this grew overnight. This was this big yesterday. Now it's this big. I woke up this morning at 6.30 in the morning when I start work at 7.30 and that's when my alarm always goes off and I've been doing that this entire pandemic. I have not changed my alarm time because I don't want to like shift my sleep schedule and then have to go back to work and change my alarm back. So I've just been, you know, being a lazy bum in the morning but I actually got up with my alarm today so I could turn on my canner so that I could take a big jar full of these that I had sitting overnight because I just said overnight in, for 12 hours in uh, salt water. And then I had all the brine, I made the brine this morning, and I put all the pickles in, and I had only one jar. And I ran a giant canner for one jar, and it takes like an hour for that canner to get to boiling. I just, because the problem is, you can't just do everything without fully sealing it, because then I'll have like 300 pickles in my fridge that I'll have to eat really fast. So, I ran the canner, and then I did all of that, and after work, ooh, because it is Friday, I went and I looked at the garden and I have another jar full of pickles. Um, so you have to deal with all of them within like 24 hours of picking them. So my plan is to wait until tomorrow, see how many more are this big, because I have five of these right now, and then pickle a whole bunch more. And on top of that, I finally went to the store. I finally went to Sam's Club. That's the second trip I've made to a food establishment vehicle store situation since this whole thing started. I've had a couple of deliveries and uh, two trips. One to Costco, one to Sam's Club. And I would say I was pretty impressed because I only saw one person without a mask on and like four noses. So that was pretty good. And everybody was like checking the aisle before they went down it and then like keeping distance from each other. So good job people at Sam's Club. I got all this produce from there because I haven't had food in my house in a while and I got a lot of produce. So now I have to do what I made a video on before, which is like from the last time, from when I went to Costco before and had a ton of produce. I have to, you know, wash it all and cut it all up and prep it and put it all into containers and freeze them so that I ha can use it extended and not have any of it go bad. It's a lot. <laughs> but I'm also going to make an apple pie because I got apples and I have a lot of apples. And then I also have to freeze a bunch of bananas because I got a ton of bananas and they were all like really ripe already so I'm gonna freeze them and then I'm gonna make my version of ice cream because I can't have dairy uh, but it's better for you it's just frozen bananas you just freeze them in chunks and you put them in a food processor or a blender or whatever and you put in whatever type of milk you want to so you could put in dairy milk if you wanted uh, but I use almond milk and then if it's not sweet enough add a little bit of honey Blend it all up until it's like the right consistency, scoop it, eat it, yum. Something that is making me excessively happy is I ordered some new masks off of Etsy and I am so happy with these. So the first one I got is bats. And the reason I like these, so they are a little bit larger on me, but they have all this extra room in front of my mouth and, and look, bats. Oh my God, there's bats. 
There's also a little pocket in both of them so that you can put an extra filter. But look at the little bats! There's bats everywhere and the little skeletons. This one's sparkly. And then from that same person, I also got this one, which makes me so happy. This is black and white, and it's Halloween themed tarot cards, which is perfect for me. I don't really understand the person that I've become in quarantine, but evidently it is like cook and bake all of the things. I mean, I've got Bernard, who's my sourdough starter, and I've been making sourdough bread every week, which reminds me I also have to make bread this weekend. So what I'm probably gonna do is freeze that one because I still have like half a loaf of bread and I have two loaves of bread in my freezer already frozen, but I've just been using my brother's recipe because it's so much easier. It's a no need recipe. I also did make a no need sourdough banana bread at one point. That was good, but my bananas aren't quite ripe enough for that. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. And those bananas are kind of earmarked for the ice cream. <sighs> and then the apples are gonna be a pie. And then I just, oh, oh, I also got a cauliflower, so I guess I have to grow some cauliflower. I forgot about that. That's gonna have to be this weekend. And I got cherries too, and I've been debating if I should make, like, I mean, brandy cherries are a thing. I don't have any brandy, but I have whiskey, and I've replaced whiskey with like peaches and made them whiskey peaches, but would also be really good with moonshine. Don't have any moonshine. Um, but I also don't have a cherry pitter and it seems like it would be a lot of stress to try and pit the cherries without a cherry pitter uh, or to try and like cut them in half and then they're not going to be right because they have to be like pitted. That's a lot of work and I may just sit down and eat like a pound of cherries. That might be my weekend. I might eat a pound of cherries and make a whole bunch of stuff. I also got potatoes. Potatoes are amazing. Is anyone else slightly losing their mind in quarantine? Um, I know I certainly am. I had to go and pick up office supplies from one of my coworkers because he was able to go into the office. Only one of us can go in and during a week for some reason. Uh, so <laughs> I understand not having everybody at once, but I mean, one per week, okay, whatever. So he went in to get supplies and when one person goes in, they get supplies for everybody and then you just pick them up and uh, one of my other coworkers came by at the same time. So we were all distanced from each other and like, Oh my goodness, you exist as actual like people and not just the screen pictures. Um, so that was interesting. And uh, we're all weird. <laughs> we admit that we're all weird because we're not used to people. There's no people anymore. I mean, there's people, but they're all inside. I just would like to be able to live in a world where I can leave my house. So. Put your masks on so we can all live in a world where we can leave our houses. Thank you. Stay fresh, cheese bags. Wear a mask, wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask. Don't be an ass, wear your mask.